Hello my beautiful Scorpios, it's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the date commencing for January 13th, 2022. So without further ado, let's go ahead, my awesome, amazing Scorpios, and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I've got the power of number eight. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August. So we could see the strength card show up, but I am also seeing the eight of swords in my mind's eye right now, Scorpio. It feels like your person has been in a very trapped, stuck position. I always like to say I hope I'm wrong, you know, but... This Eight of Swords that I'm seeing in my mind's eye, it's somebody, they don't know which way is up, which way is down. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see if that wants to come into the mix of it all, but I am seeing it in my mind's eye. Power of number two. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February for some of you. You can see the High Priestess card. I am also seeing the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Power of number 10. We can see the Wheel of Fortune card. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with a fixed sign. A Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, and or another Scorpio such as yourself. So, I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords for some odd reason. I feel like this person is going through some kind of a backstabbing and or betrayal Scorpio looks like we're gonna go to the power of number 20 which is in representation of the judgment card if the judgment card kicks in usually what has a tendency to follow suit is the five of cups and or the page of cups mm hmm something about a rightfully owed apology or this person having guilt remorse regret However, we could also see the world card, so endings to karmic cycles, but we also may see the fool card. If we see the world card and the fool card, then that shows me endings of the cycle so that a new beginning, somebody wants to wipe the slate clean with you, Scorpio. You could be dealing straight up with an Aries for some of you. Seeing the power of number 12, hanged man card, you could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. But with the power of number 12, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius and or a Capricorn throughout the month of December. Power of number one, we could see the Magician card kick in and or any of the Aces, so any Zodiac sign that you could be dealing with. Gemini energy comes through the Magician card and I'm also seeing the Moon card. Some of you guys are dealing with them mysterious Cancerians. That like to pretend like they're all tough and hard on the outside, but they're all mush on the inside, right? So, power of number 20, you guys. Let's see what is going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And, 20. and for some reason, I am seeing the Knight of Wands in my mind's eye, some form of inconsistency that has been going on in your environment, Scorpio, or your person's environment. Somebody could definitely be getting played, getting played by the karmic, getting played by karmic family members. Mm. Trusted ancestors, what is going on with Scorpio's specific person, please. What is going on in their environment for the day commencing for January 13th, 2022, please. What's up with them? 
Okay, something, this is a good sign. Um, something here is trying to come into, in like basically in sync or alignment. Some of you guys might have used to like the boy band in sync or Backstreet Boys. That's what I'm also hearing too. So temperance. There's an ebb and flow or healing that is trying to emerge or go on in your person's environment. You could be dealing straight up with a Sagittarius that could be born on December 14th for some of you. What is temperance in regards to Scorpio's person, please? What is it? Judgment. Mm -hmm. Power of number 20. That is what we shuffled the deck to. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person's going to be coming in begging for a second chance, Scorpio. Magician. Bottom of the deck. Power of number one. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with a Gemini. This person really does have all of the tools and the resources, Scorpio, to come forward in your direction. Or it could very well be true, Scorpio, that you are doing your own manifestation process in order to get this person out of a stuck position and or you're trying to Work with your guardian angels or your spirit guides or your trusted ancestors to help influence and or persuade your person to leave the karmic. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, and your trusted ancestors, they're already working in on this person right now. Some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for some of you. Again, with judgment, it's a very Scorpionic energy, so you could be dealing with another Scorpio. This person is going through some kind of a breakup. This energy came up. It was in the reverse in yesterday's reading that somebody is going through a healing process. Yes, my beautiful Scorpios. I think a lot of you guys have gone through, yes, a breakup or a separation. <clears throat> Somebody does not want me to speak my truth. <clears throat> They're not going to win. Can't fight the power of the numbers. Numbers are numbers are numbers and numbers are facts. Numbers don't give two shits about our feelings. It is what it is. This person could have gone through a breakup three days ago or it's happening in the next three days or it could take another three weeks. However, in yesterday's reading, it was coming up in the reverse, which means somebody already got played. Somebody already got played. It's behind the three of swords. Yeah, the truth came out about something. Justice card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. Magician. That somebody was trying to control a situation. Somebody was trying to manipulate or create some kind of an imbalance of energy. It's just basically people's mindset, you guys. Not everybody knows spell work, okay? Not everybody's that brilliant. Not everybody's that bright, okay? People who are actually really, truly spiritually awakened, I don't really give two shits what you call it. It's all manifestation. It's your intention. So whether you're manifesting for your person to break up with somebody or you're manifesting for abundance, health, wealth, you're, you're working in on yourself, it, it don't matter. It's all intention, because you know in truth, in hindsight, that this person has been dealing with a karmic situation or they're dealing with karmic family members. Sometimes, you guys, we got to take out the trash. You know what I'm saying? You got to take out the trash. And um, manifestation energy coming in through temperance. This is about alignment. This is about alchemy. Okay? These karmics are really not that bright. And in all truth, not all of these karmics know anything about real spirituality they don't know anything about spell work they think it's all a harry potter world I'm, I'm being very quite honest not everybody knows the ins and outs unless if you were one that studies religion spirituality the history the roots decoding history 
um, old world religions, you know, everybody's got witchy ancestors. Okay, everybody, everybody's got witchy ancestors. You know, I mean, like my great grandmother, you know, she, I could have called her a witch very easily. Okay, because she used to like to put a, a head of cabbage in her pantry because it was supposed to bring in prosperity and abundance for the year into the home. Does that sound so negative? People got to understand that not everybody's third eye is completely opened. There is no color. There is no color to anything. We put earthly terms on stuff, okay? And I've been noticing this a lot out there. If you go looking for something, guess what? Then that energy is going to be there. It's the law of attraction. That's why... Numbers are numbers are numbers. This whole entire universe is ruled off of numbers. And this person has a judgment call coming in. And some of you Scorpios had to make a judgment call on this person. Some of you had no choice. But to go in and work in on yourself, okay, had to go in, work in on yourself, all right? And despite the fact that it hurt you, a lot of you guys, again, you're manifesting to go through your own healing process. But this person is going to get a major wake-up call. Because the divine was in front of them. The divine was in front of them. So, you know... feel like this per you, you know you ever remember watching Bugs Bunny <laughs> every time sometimes I see this card it, it almost feels like Bugs Bunny kind of like um blowing blowing a horn or what was it that like uh Wiley e. Coyote and Roadrunner they used to play a lot of pranks on one another you know and I feel like this angel's coming in to blow the trumpet in somebody's ear and you see that person's hair blowing backwards you know what I mean so um I kind of look at this in in a in an animated way you know just to kind of bring some humor into the situation you know what I'm saying to bring humor because this person, um, they just didn't see what was in front of them. And a lot of you guys know this, why Scorpios are very intuitive. And this person was in and out of your life, yeah. But because they were in and out of your life, they're going to get a major wake-up call. Some of you could work for the Red Cross or the Amer I'm also picking up American Heart Association, Salvation Army, Goodwill. I'm picking up charity. I'm also picking up charity work. Some of you guys may help with charity. Maybe possibly a make. Uh, maybe some of you guys donate to. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing this energy. Some of you guys may um, donate to the Make a Wish uh, Foundation or St. Jude's. St. Jude's Foundation. This person is going to want to revitalize the situation with you. But in order for them to do this, they're going to have to bust ass. Let's just put it that way. They're going to have to bust ass to prove themselves worthy and honorable. And their words have to match up with their actions. It might take them eight times over to prove themselves to you until maybe you are the one Scorpio that actually feels satisfied with their actions to make you feel, we'll say, emotionally safe with this person. Because after the damage has been done, you know, you're trying to rebuild something here. It could feel like a daunting task. Some of you guys are not going to be able to necessarily pick back up where you left off. It's like 
you guys are going to have to completely wipe the slate clean. After judgment comes the world card. So boom, closing out a cycle and then the power of number zero. That's like the white canvas. That's that's like looking at a blank artist canvas and pushing and projecting out like new ideas. How are we going to get this relationship up and running? This person may, I'm, I'm seeing the Ace of Wands in my mind's eye. This person may want to try to find a creative way um, to build trust. A creative way to build trust. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit. But they know that they broke your heart and they're also going through a breakup or they will be going through a breakup very soon here. Doesn't matter the circumstances. Message from judgment. Yeah. This person is going to want to have it all with you, Scorpio. Sign a Leo coming in. Your love life also to Scorpio is going to get revitalized here. Don't think for a moment that your trusted ancestors or that your spirit guides or that your guardian angels don't know what you need. They do. And they also know what kind of person needs to be in your life and they want you to feel worthy that you're worthy of a healthy romantic partnership with somebody that you know truly loves you is going to put in the time energy dedication and devotion some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn for some of you and there could definitely be as you guys are working and healing yourself and this person is going through a wake-up call, it could definitely well be over the summertime process. Some of you guys might be getting married unexpectedly over the summertime of 2022. There will be a lot of unions. There will be healing. But healing comes from within. It's when we make the choice. It's when we make the decision. It's when our mindset is ready. But we don't want to be in a, um, a hanged man mode. We got to put the action into it. There will be things that the divine will bring in which will feel like a moment of serendipity where things start to feel like things magically fall into your lap. And this person is going to have to learn how to heal because some of them in like in yesterday's reading a lot of them jump from relationship to relationship to relationship and it it, it it's like a um it, it's like an addiction because they think that they're going to keep getting something better and something better but then it's like the divine is eventually puts a stop to those karmic relationships You guys have reconciliation can come through the sun card, okay? And just know that your trusted ancestors and your spirit guides, they've got your back, Scorpio. They love you. They care about you. They want the best for you. They always do. Ace of Cups, exactly. This is what you guys are worthy of. And this person is going to come in and they're going to make you this major offer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. This Look at Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. Straightforward, crystal clear cut messages. That's it. Black and white, Ace of Cups. This person knows that in order to have everything with you, they have to earn your trust. There are no ifs, no ands, no buts about it. So how is this person, trusted ancestor, going to bring in Scorpio, this Ace of Cups? Okay, this would make sense. 
they're they're gonna okay it's gonna start I feel like it's gonna start off small and it's gonna work its way up so they're gonna come in to have their quote unquote their teamwork and collaboration three of pentacles they are gonna want to work the situation out with you so what is motivating this person trusted ancestors to collaborate here with Scorpio on a romantic level what okay Okay, there's a manifestation process going on. The moon card. Some of you guys are, again, dealing with Cancerians for some of you. This could be happening in and around a waxing moon phase when we're headed into a full moon. Now, granted, we will have a full moon in the sign of Cancer on January 17th. Show me the moon. I'm hearing um, the old band, Glenn Miller. I'm hearing Moonlight Serenade in my head. Maybe some of you guys like that song or you should listen to it. Just listen to it. Because I'm, I was picking up the imagery of you and your person eventually walking together outside. And it could be at nighttime. Maybe you guys meet up during the day. And then you do something at night. Okay, maybe you go out talking together. I mean, this I'm not getting this over the top like this person. Some of them may come in with a lot of sexual aggression because they they miss your physical presence, but I'm not in this reading, I'm not necessarily getting that energy. I feel like this person is going to be coming in very genuinely what was hidden in the dark, all of these feelings and emotions, Scorpio, that this person held back from you, it is going to come to the surface. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Beatles. Mhm. Mm what is the moon? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys are dealing with another water sign. Doesn't have to be, but this person is showing me through the cards that they're going to become more emotionally balanced. And that they're going to be emotionally available. But they know what they have to do. They have to earn you. They have to put in this work. Four of Pentacles. This person's not going to let you go, Scorpio. They had been holding back. They were holding back so much. They were holding back all of these feelings, all of these emotions for you, all their thoughts. But Spirit is stepping in. Spirit is stepping in because a lot of you guys have been obedient to the universe. Okay, obedient to yourself. Getting back into personal empowerment. Some of you guys are trailing behind. A lot of you guys are waking up. A lot of you guys are, you know, getting the aha moments. Your your spirituality is growing. Okay, give your, you guys need to give yourself a pat on the back for what you have accomplished. Okay, going through a healing process after a breakup, pat yourself on the back because it isn't an easy task. When we have given of our time and energy to somebody and if you're hurt, you're wounded, you know, yeah, it takes time to heal. But see, spirit is going to reward you either with this person from the past or they will bring in a new soulmate that is going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Because spirit wants you to get into this alignment and do this on a daily basis. This could be about meditation. It could be about prayer. It could be about your candle workings. It could be whatever makes you focus. They don't, and, and also too, if you guys have businesses right now, while spirit is working in on your person, if you have a, you know, an online business, if you, um, you got something in the works, they do not want you to give up. They want you to get your priorities straight. They want you to take things step by step by step by step and stop overwhelming yourself. 
ask for help if you need help, okay? Because the divine will bring in the support that you need. Maybe you need somebody to help you with your emails. Maybe you need somebody to help you with deliveries. Maybe you need somebody uh, just to play the role or the part of being that support system if they have to go market and promote a product. You never know, okay? Ask for help if you need help. But they do not want you to lose sight of your goals right now either, Scorpio. Because this is important. A lot of this is your destiny. A lot of you guys are working two or three jobs right now. Because some of you guys have no choice. This person could have left you financially high and dry at 1.2, Scorpio. Show me why this person that Scorpio has dealt with does not want to let go of them once they return. The King of Swords. Okay. Some of you guys have choices or options in love right now. Because they, okay, it what it is, they're not going to let you go. Look at this. Headspace, heart space. Headspace, heart space. Because they're balanced. Their headspace and their heart space was not balanced before in the past. That's why they made poor choices, poor decisions. Their energy, their chakras were off sync. Their root chakra might have not have been very strong. Their solar plexus, their confidence. A lot of you guys are intuitive. Your intuition could have scared this person off. That's not your fault. That person had to come to an awakening to appreciate you for your spiritual gifts. Some of you guys are tarot readers or oracle card readers. Um, some of you guys might even have your own, uh, I don't know, you know, like your own YouTube platform. Or maybe you do something on Instagram or Snapchat, TikTok. Who knows? Okay. And maybe you're popular at what it is that you do. And at that time, that person might not have felt that they could compete. You know what I'm saying? But this person is going to get aligned. Okay? They're going to get aligned. They're balancing out. Balancing out the scales. Message from the King of Swords. Knight of Swords, they're rushing in. They feel compelled. They're that compelled. They don't want, literally, they, they don't want anybody else to have you. And I think that they're worried that you have other choices or options in love, Scorpio. And it's almost like spirit, spirits coming in to blow the horn and say, Move your blooming ass. Remember that scene from My Fair Lady? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys do like to go to the racetracks. Go make bets on the horses. I am picking that up. Some of you guys like to gamble every now and then. Go play slot machines. I'm picking that up. This person's going to rush in because it's almost like a... It's like an anxiousness. So what is prompting or motivating this person? To... I combine the numbers and the energy of the Judgment and Knight of Swords. Ah. Perfect. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Getting away from a karmic situation. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Could be a person, place, or thing, or situation. They're cutting out this, we'll, we'll, we'll call it a raving banshee type of energy. Could be family. Could be family that this person's cutting out. They could have tried to return back to somebody from their past and it just didn't work out. Yeah, see, they're not moving forward. They're not going to move forward with this karmic. Three of wands in the reverse. 
Because when it's in the upright, that means they're trying to send the ships out, waiting for the ships to come in. No, they're not waiting for the ships to come in with this karmic. Mm -mm. It's because judgment. Give me another message from judgment, please, trusted ancestors. I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, see, exactly. What did I say? This person has so much guilt, remorse, regret. It's going to propel them forward. Five of Cups. Come forward and give a rightfully owed apology. Mm-hmm. This, what Spirit's doing right now is putting your person in alignment. To make them wake up. Make them wake up to the truth. To the truth of the mistake of dealing with that karmic person, place, or thing, or situation. Make them wake up and also help them to forgive themselves. To forgive themselves for walking away from you, too. Mm -hmm. oh, there goes my little Christmas ball. There we go. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll be back for another reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, do it through the power of the numbers. Hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.